Welcome to the Deals Private Capital Symposium. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn, and I'm talking with Stephen Ratner from DLJ Merchant Banking Partners, and we're talking about the middle market. What kind of effect is the financial turmoil having on the middle market? Well, it's certainly having quite a bit of uh, turmoil today, though not as much as in the large cap deals. We're seeing that it's harder to get financing. The financing that we are getting today for new deals is certainly at a lower leverage level. The covenants are much tighter than we have seen over the past couple of years, and it's more expensive. So uh, you're working a lot harder today than you were over the past couple of years in order to get deals done. Are you also facing a new competition, um, new investors looking at the middle market who might not have looked at it before? There are the large cap uh, private equity shops that have traditionally over the past couple of years been doing 10, 20, 30 billion dollar deals that are dipping down into the two billion, maybe the one billion dollar enterprise size. I don't think that is going to have a long term sustained impact. A 20 billion dollar private equity fund would have to have three or four hundred uh, portfolio companies in their portfolio to do each investment at 200 million. They simply don't have the time or the number of people in order to do that. So generally, you know, the competition has always been very stiff, but not more so than we've seen. I know you like to say that it's more important to focus on tomorrow's deals rather than yesterday's, but what do you mean by that more specifically? Sure. I think a lot of us over the past couple of years were looking at doing traditional LBOs, levering them up as much as possible. Uh, harder to do that, as we've just talked about, because of the turmoil in the financial market. So what we're looking at today is also doing traditional LBOs, but taking a look at very good companies that maybe want to do an acquisition do a plant expansion, do a geographic expansion, but don't have the ability to borrow for that today. So they're looking for additional sources of equity, and we're there. Maybe they have a term loan or a high yield issue coming due and can't re-borrow that. Very good company and need more equity to take care of a debt problem. We're looking at putting monies into uh, deals like that. Are, are um, you structuring deals differently than you used to? Is Are there whole new, new deal structures? Well, certainly over the past couple of years, we used uh, the covenant light or no covenant deals very heavily. Those are certainly gone out of the market. So we're back to the good old days where your relationship banking with your lenders, you have covenants, you have max in the, uh, the credit agreements. Uh, you're actually having to pay cash interest, the novelty over the past couple of years. So uh, is it new? It is over the past couple of years, but it kind of refers me back to the last five five or six years. You've been in leverage finance for 24 years, I believe you've said. What's the most important thing for people to understand about the market today, and especially about the middle market today? It's the same today as it was forever. It starts with credit. It doesn't matter how you structure a deal. It doesn't matter what covenants you have in the deal. Unless you really understand the dynamics of how that business operates, how you can improve the operations, how you can increase value by increasing the top line, EBITDA, profit margins, nothing else really matters. It really is about the economy overall where that business that you own fits into that economy, both on a macro and a micro basis, and how you can work with management to make that company more profitable. And last question, we're seeing consumers' behavior change in many different ways in this new economy. How do you see that having an impact on deals? Yeah, you know, we own uh, parts of over 50 different companies throughout North America and Europe, and we're seeing something that we've never seen before, consumers with four dollars a, ga uh, a gallon gasoline are starting to go with record numbers to mass transportation. We've seen it in New York and Denver, even in LA of all places. If people are willing to leave their cars at home in America and take uh, mass transportation, they are going to change a lot of the way they live their lives. We haven't even yet begun to see how that uh, goes through the economy and how it affects our companies that we own. It'll be interesting to see how that has an effect. Thank you very much, Stephen Ratner from DLJ Merchant Banking Partners. And thank you for watching. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn with The Deals Private Capital Symposium.